in a cross section of a seminiferous tubule, the spermatogonia, the stem cells which initiate spermatogenesis, are attached to the basement membrane, which is farthest from the lumen of the tubule. After they divide, one of the two daughter cells remains a spermatogonium, and thus males will have the potential to make hundreds of millions of reproductive cells per day for the remainder of their lives, because the stem cells which initiate this replenish themselves. The second daughter cell migrates past the blood testis barrier and becomes a primary spermatocyte, which initiates meiosis. At, after two cell divisions, the primary spermatocyte has produced two secondary spermatocytes, and these secondary spermatocytes have divided to make haploid spermatids. These haploid spermatids do not have a shape conducive to movement, and so therefore a second process occurs in the testis, not only the spermatogenesis, which produces haploid sex cells, but also the spermiogenesis, in which they shed excess cytoplasm, they condense their nucleus and uh, cover it with an enzyme tip known as an acrosome, and develop a midpiece full of mitochondria and a long flagellar tail, which will allow them to swim.